In this video, let's add functionality to our data to be automatically sorted when we enter new data. So let's say we want to have our data always sorted by sales amount from highest to lowest or really any other column you might want to sort this by. For me, I'm going to go with the sales amounts. So first of all, let's just go ahead and sort this data. So I'm going to take this, go under data, sort range, check the box, choose sales column and do Z2A to have that sorted from the highest amount on top, lowest amount all the way down. So basically what I'm trying to do, if I enter another sale here, I want that to automatically be sorted and go where it needs to go in this data. Now, if you do something like this, I suggest to have the column you're sorting by to always be the last column, even though it doesn't really matter, but for best user experience, that's probably what you want to do. And you'll see why when I go through this in a second. So again, the idea is going to be, I'm going to come in here and enter some new date or whatever this is going to be, and then some more information. And then at some point we're going to enter some sort of sales amount. And when we do that, let's actually make this currency. And when we do this, we want this to be automatically going up here where it belongs. So let's first of all, get rid of this and I'm going to go under tools, script editor, and we're going to write a script for this. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call this auto sort. And first let's just create a function that will sort this data. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go grab this data set. So we're going to grab it starting from the second row, not the headers, and then all of this going until the end of this data set. There are a few different ways you can go about this depending on your spreadsheet setup. I have a video covering how to find the last row in your spreadsheet in many different ways, depending on your situation. You can watch that to modify how I'm getting the last row here. But for this one, since this is going to be just this data set, I'm just going to keep it simple. Just get the last row. So what I'll do, I'll just get my spreadsheet. So I'm going to get the active spreadsheet. Let's just save this in a variable. And then let's also make sure we get the worksheet in a variable. So the worksheet is going to be this worksheet. Let's change the name of this. And I'm going to use that name. So I'll take my spreadsheet and get the sheet by name and then pass the name of the worksheet in there. So at this point, I would like to get the range of my data. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to take the worksheet and do get range and then start from row two, column two. So row two, column two, right here. Then I need to set the number of rows and the number of columns. The number of rows is going to be total number of rows in our spreadsheet minus one. So if we have 14, it's going to be 13 here. And to do that, we'll take our worksheet and get last row. And this is where I was saying, if you have a different situation, you can watch my video about getting last rows to see how else you can get this last row in a different way. But for me, that's going to be that. And finally, the number of columns, I'm just going to hard code that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven columns. So that's going to be my range of data. So now I should be able to take that range. And on this, we should have a method sort. And that will see accept a sort object. Let's just scroll down to see if there's a good example here. There it is. Here's a good example. Column two ascending false. I'm just going to copy that. Paste it in here. So we're trying to sort by column number seven because seven would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sales amounts. And then ascending no. Uh, true would be lowest number on top. False would be the highest number on top. So that's that. So that should sort my data. 
Now let's first of all test this to make sure it works. So I'm gonna go in here, let's just change some of these numbers. Something like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run this function auto sort right in here. And for me, I did run some scripts in the spreadsheet so I'm not getting any review screens here. If you do, you have to just go through it and just give permissions. So let's go back and take a look. So it's sorted, but not the right way. It seems like it's sorted by this column. So let's just count this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this column seven, apparently that refers to the actual column in our spreadsheet. So we need to do eight to get H. Okay, we'll do that. Let's change this to eight, run this again. Okay, good. Now it's sorting our data using this column. Now what's left to do is to make sure that this automatically happens when we enter some data. And we're gonna sort when there is a new sales amount entered right in here. And the way I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna use on edit function. And this is a special function that runs every time something changes on your spreadsheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept this event object here. And inside of that event object, there's gonna be this range that basically will tell us what cell or range was changed. So we're trying to make sure that we only run our sort function when the change is happening in this area. So for now, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna check for the column. So I'm gonna say if this is column eight and then it's starting from row two or down, let's actually do this thing. So the way we can do that Let's actually save a couple of variables here. So we'll save the row and the column from that range. And then we'll do an if statement. And we'll say if row is greater than or equal to two. And at the same time, let's actually do the column first. So we'll say if the column is equal to eight and at the same time, the row is greater than two, then we wanna be able to do these things. Or we can just do the opposite here and then say if it's not this, so the way I can do that, I'm just gonna do not equal to and put this whole thing in parentheses. So if it's not in that area, let's just return and not do anything else. So now we can move on to say, let's actually do things in case it's in that range. And what I want to happen, I want to actually auto sort, which is this function over here. I'm gonna change this a little bit, but for now, let's just save this. So I'm gonna save this, go back, and let's just try to enter something here. So as you can see, after I enter the amount, immediately that went to the top. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back and move all of this inside of this auto sort function because I want to have this on edit, just call the function and that's it. So the way I can do that, I can just accept this E inside of this auto sort and then also provide that E when I call the function and then just move all of this logic right here right here on top. And this way it's gonna be cleaner for on added function in case you wanna do something else, which means now I should be able to use the same thing. And as you can see, as soon as I enter, that sorts. Now, if you remember when I started, I said it's best to have the column you're sorting by to be last. And the reason for that is that if I start now entering this sales amounts first and I enter some amount, 
then it's immediately gonna sort the data and then I have to go back in here and enter the rest of the data, which might not be the best experience for the user. And this is why you probably wanna have that as the last column. So as you enter your data, you get to that column, you enter the data and it sorts. Now, the last thing I wanna do here, I want to make sure that I limit this only to happen when we're on this particular worksheet. I don't want this to try to sort our data when we're on a different worksheet in the same file. So for that, I'm gonna go back and add something to this condition. And what we'll do, we'll get our worksheet. So we can do that by taking that E and in this one, we're gonna have the source, which will refer to our source spreadsheet, which is gonna be this get active sheet, like this SS right in here. So uh, for that, let's actually move this variable over here, like that. Now I'm gonna have to take this line out in a second, but before I do that, let's actually comment this line and go back and grab the code we're gonna need because this is gonna give us autocomplete. So I'm gonna take the active sheet, what worksheet is currently active, and from that we're gonna get the name of the worksheet, like this. So let's grab this and move this up in here. And we'll just set a variable. And I'm gonna remove the comment here and get rid of that. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my current sheet which will be the current sheet name actually. Let's actually separate this. Let's do this one to be our current sheet and this one will be our current sheet name, which we can get like this. So now we can check right in here. Let's check it in the beginning. If the current sheet name equals to this, then in this case, we'll actually do the rest. In all the other cases, we don't wanna run this. So now I can just also get rid of this part, the one that sets the worksheet, because now we're gonna have the current sheet being the right worksheet. So we can just simply say current sheet dot get range and then current sheet get last row, which would refer to our current worksheet, which should be this one. And then we'll do our sorting like we used to do before. So I'm just gonna save all of this. Let's test this and make sure it works. And it does. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.